My wife's, my wife's cool, man. We, um, we do argue sometimes, but I think that's just normal, right? I mean, men and women living in one house and we're like so different. That's just what's gonna happen. And I don't think either of us mean to get on each other's nerves. I think it's just something that happens, you know? Like my wife likes to do this thing where she wakes up an hour before me. She drinks a bunch of coffee. And then she starts yelling at me <laughs> as if I have also been up drinking coffee. <laughs> but I haven't, like my eyes are closed. I'm in bed, which I feel like is sort of like the international symbol for, hey, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sleeping. I'm just saying like rarely do you see someone with their eyes closed in a bed and go like, what's that guy doing, fishing? No. <laughs> He's sleeping, always, you know. But she loved to get up early, you know, and she'd always say the same thing to me, you know, she'd wake me up, hey, Jamie, wake up, you gotta get up. I'm like, oh my, oh my goodness, what's happening? What's going on? It's like, and she'd always say the same thing. She'd always go, listen, you know what we should do today? Which by the way, no woman has ever said, do you know what we should do today? Followed by something awesome. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's kind of always something only they would like to do. You know? <laughs> it's never it's never awesome, you know. It's never. It's never like, you know what we should do today? What? I thought I'd massage you and you'd watch basketball. Oh my goodness, I'm awake. <laughs> I did not expect that. I would have actually gotten up last night if I thought that was gonna happen. I would have gotten up an hour before I went to sleep if I thought there was a chance of a massage or some basketball. But you guys, you know, that, that, that's not what happens. It's not what happened. Instead she goes, you know what we should do today? And I go, what? And she goes, I want us to go to the craft store. Which, did you hear that in the room? That tension, like all I said was craft store and you could hear a lot of different emotions. <laughs> like a guy right back there was just like, Ugh, did you hear that? Like he'd been punched in the stomach. He was like, oh. And all the, some of the women I could hear you getting like excited, like inside your, like, like oh my goodness, I actually need, uh, I need googly eyes. That is so weird he said that, I need googly eyes. <laughs> we are fresh out of googly eyes. We have like one left, which makes no sense. They should sell them in even numbers. Are there crafty people here? My wife is like super crafty and it's, it's, it's cool that she has a hobby. And if there's any like young people and I'm losing you on this, I'll just tell you real quick, basically crafting, just to explain it to you. It's basically like, so you could buy something at a store, right? <laughs> but for a little bit more money. You could make a crappier version. <laughs> with no Yelp reviews. With no way to return it without hurting someone's feelings. Oh, my wife was, cause she was good at it. She was like really, really crafty. But it was just like for me, like where I'm coming from is it was just, it, it was, it was a stressful for me, because I would have trouble, I'm not the smartest guy, I would have trouble figuring out, like in our house, what was valuable and what was trash. <laughs> like it was almost impossible to figure it out. I remember I upset my wife this one time, like she got so upset, you guys, and that's the, that's the last thing I want, is my wife to be upset, and she got upset, and you know what I did? All I did was, I threw away an empty sauce jar. <laughs> that's all I did, right? And my wife wakes up, she goes, where did the sauce jar go that was on the counter? I go, I, I threw it away. And she goes, why would you throw it away? And I go, uh, it, was, it was out of sauce. <laughs> Is this some kind of trick question or something? There was no sauce in it, you know, so I threw it away. Because I remember when we had bought it, we were like, we need sauce. <laughs> I thought that's why we'd been, we'd been keeping it around. <laughs> For the sauce that was in it, you know. That's what it says on the outside of the bottle. I wouldn't want someone to open it like, oh, somebody took it. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of why I threw it away. 
And she goes, well, I was gonna make a craft with that. And I go, well, there's no way, you know, I would have known that, you know, cause I still only have just the five senses still. <laughs> still, still being a human, you know. And would you believe, and, that's, and I don't want to upset her, but would you believe 24 hours later, I did almost the exact same thing? I threw away, you know the things the eggs come in? What are they called? A a the egg carton. Which, by the way, do you feel that silence? <laughs> I just want to tell you guys, if you see an egg carton, you just leave it, you leave it right where it is. <laughs> you don't touch it. The egg carton is like the Bitcoin of Pinterest. <laughs> They fluctuate in value, you know. There's only a finite amount on earth, just don't touch it. <laughs> Nobody told me that, you know. I just woke up and I saw an egg carton and it was empty and I don't like clutter. And so the recycle truck was driving by and I was like, oh my goodness, that guy loves these. And so I ran out there. <laughs> He's got a whole truck full of, and so I went out there, loves them. And so I threw it in the truck and I come back inside and my wife is staying there. And she's like, where did the egg carton go that was on the counter? I go, no. No, you're kidding me. No, you didn't, no. I, th I threw it. And she's like, what? And I go, uh, uh. I couldn't even tell her. And I didn't want to tell her. I threw it in the guy's truck. I go, if she finds out about that guy, she'll start dating him. How can I compete with that? He's got a whole truck full of craft items. All the egg cartons you could want. He probably has some facility. I'm not telling her about that. I can't, com can't compete with that. Hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has their very own app? You can check it out, man. Download it right now. It'll take two seconds. You can watch, save, and share clips. And you can watch my entire special right there on the app.